What you've just been watching is um, stage combat for the, sta for the theater. I teach what most people call sword fighting, what you see in Romeo and Juliet, the Three Musketeers and all of that, but it's actually called acting with weapons because the key ingredient to what we're doing with these swords is acting, making it look like it's dangerous while putting in together all sorts of safety factors. The weapons that you're looking at are what they would call theatrical Elizabethan or rapiers, the kind of thing you'd see in Romeo and Juliet, like I said, the Three Musketeers, and all of that time period from about the late 15th century through the early 18th century. All right, we teach students this because it's a style of acting that is very popular. In this country, we have over 100 Shakespeare festivals, and people don't think of that that much, but whenever we do a Shakespeare play, we get our lar largest turnout of uh, students wanting to act in the play. And yes, indeed, we are working on right, right now. We're doing uh, Midsummer Night's Dream, which opens up on April 10th. So I'm always, whenever we're doing a Shakespeare play like Romeo and Juliet, which we did uh, two years ago, I want to teach the actors a little bit about sword fighting so that they look like they come from a different time period. But the other thing that I'm teaching them is basically a trick or a tool that an actor needs. How to do stunt fighting, how to do fake fighting, how to do something that looks scary but is safe. This makes the actor more employable. You know, there's lots of Shakespeare festivals, there's lots of regional theaters. Many plays are about people in crisis, so they act out, misbehave. Sometimes it's comic, sometimes it's dramatic. But that means that an actor, a lot of times, male and female, are going to be asked to get punched or kicked or fight, sometimes pick up a knife, sometimes pick up a sword. How do we do that in a way that is safe for the actors so they can do it over and over again without hurting each other, but also is exciting for the audience to watch? This is a technique that's become more and more popular. I'm a certified fight teacher with the Society of American Fight Directors. This is a series of training that I've gone through, intensive workshops where I have to recertify every year so I know how to do this stuff safely. I think it's wonderful that Long Beach City College has actually supported me in this. They've helped us. Uh, I wrote a grant for getting some weapons. The weapons are all dulled. The edges are dulled. The tips are flat so that a student can't get hurt that way. But it's still a piece of steel. So we have to teach them safety. We have to teach them how to act a fight, how to make it look dangerous while it is safe. We're one of the only community colleges I know of that actually teaches this. And so when students come out of our program, hopefully they've learned all of their acting technique as well as they have an extra tool that makes them more viable uh, to go to a four-year school, maybe to get a master's program later on. And certainly if they just go out and try to act, they're going to have more skills than hopefully the other students coming out of community colleges. One of the great things about Long Beach City College. Thank you.